rescue's had a stressful car journey. Of course, he's not used to it. He's starting to relax. We're at the vet now, and we'll see and get him some medical attention. He'll probably need x ray. Hello. Okay, thanks. Okay, so issues seem to be with his legs. He's still quite strong on the front. So you can see he pulled himself up. So, uh, doctor's way to get some uh, ketamine as he will need x ray. So, we're going to give him a sedation, see what's going on. Hopefully, the damage is not too bad. He's a big boy with big teeth, so it's hard to get. Uh, Hard to do anything without a sedation. This is of course one of these mysterious cases, we're not really too sure um, what's happened to this guy. We were called by the school nearby uh, saying that there's this big male monkey uh, blocking the entrance and everybody was too scared to go in. And uh, when we eventually got out there, we found him curled up, unable to move. Um, he was generally uh, fairly easy just to capture and uh, put into one of our transport cages. Um, just remember this guy has got massive big teeth so we do really have to be very careful with what we do and ha how we handle him um, we got him through to the vets to have a checkup um, the only thing we can really see is there's uh, bruising uh, all over his abdomen uh, we're not really too sure from what um, x-rays uh, will be taken um, to see what's going on there but uh, we didn't find any um, anything damaged no broken bones his spine everything seems well uh, he has got feeling in his legs, although he's not moving them. So we're not too sure if a, a vehicle has hit him um, in the abdomen or something like that. And uh, he's just been very, very badly bruised. And uh, that's what's caused uh, the lameness. So uh, we're going to just give him a couple of weeks to see what we can do and work with him. Hopefully we can get his movement back and uh, get him well enough to go back to his troop. Um, if his legs don't recover, of course, it's not good news uh, for this guy. But uh, we're going to do what we can and uh, see if we can get him up and uh, walking again as soon as possible. Yeah. our rescue just coming back now with Mark and Simon it's just take been taken to the vet so we'll see what they say when they arrive back so just a little update on Ransky boy we've managed to get some food down to him he's having some banana there um, he hasn't been standing up he's been laying down like this so we've just been feeding it through the bars for him Hey boy. And he just opens up his mouth and chews little bits at a time. There you go, boy. It's okay, Papa. He's a bit more alert. I think you can hear the hose, eh? Hey, boy. You're so pretty. Do 
this is Marinsky. He arrived today and he was injured. He had some damage inside his spine and his tissue. Um, but he's doing well. He starts some stretches like his right leg. So yeah, keep going, Baba. So today, because he was sedated, we have to feed him by hands and give him his uh, water and medication in syringes. But yeah, he's improving already after a few hours. So just a little update on Marinsky Mail. Um, he doesn't seem to be doing great this morning. He just gulped down about 10 mils of coconut water. Um, and he's been like this all morning, just laying down, not really moving much, and eyes are barely opening and closing. Um, there's no audible breathing, and we can't see any stools, so he's still not past any stools yet. I can still see some bruising on his stomach. Um, yeah, other than that, not much has changed. Uh, we will see how he goes. So he's really loving the rehi. Oh my god, he is thirsty. Just saw that um, Merensky was moving his right leg and maybe he's trying to prop himself up. <laughs> yeah, look how his eyes are lit up as well. Mm -hmm. He looks a bit more alive. So we're just giving Marensky boy some um, porridge. He's looking much more active than this morning. He's sitting up by himself. Um, yeah, eyes have lit up a bit. He's loving all the extra food and juices. Um, he's very thirsty and a very hungry boy. <laughs> break <laughs> he's had a lot okay. so our boy who's been in sick bay now um luna how's he doing because you've been caring for him quite a um, lot he's doing better than he was on the first day so the first day he was completely unresponsive um he was barely moving opening his eyes and laying down um yesterday he started pulling himself up on the bars and kind of stretching out his legs a little bit um and he spent most of the day and night sat in the corner upright um, and we've just moved him to his side because he face planted the floor at one point so we wanted to make sure that he's in a nice comfortable resting position for this morning and then we will see what we do later with him. Thank you very much. I, uh, and lots of food and he's just been getting rehigh and water every so often. Um, and yeah, I'm just doing little massages when I can on his feet and thighs. Obviously carefully so he doesn't turn around at one point and bite. Let's hope he starts improving soon. It's at least an improvement since he first arrived, so that's good. Yeah, I've not seen any stools this morning. Um, and obviously I haven't seen any urinations, but yeah, we'll see. So our male's just gonna have some GI sustain. 
It just helps his gut, got lots of nutrition in to help his digestive support, especially as he had a bruised abdomen. We're not sure what internal damage is done. So usually with an adult male you wouldn't be able to syringe feed them like this, but because of his very weak condition, um, then this is the only way we can really get him the food that he needs at the moment. Um, we do have to be very careful of course because he can suddenly wake up and get stronger but uh, we've got trained carers looking after him and Luna's doing a great job. So Morensky boy is doing better this afternoon. He's started vocalizing, which is amazing. Um, he's also moving around quite a bit. His arms and legs are not working as they should, but at least he's trying. That's, that's what we like to see. Um, yeah, he's loving his food still, his um, special rehydration liquid, his coconut water. Um, so. Yeah, little steps, but doing well. Can you believe it? The foundation has reached the 30-year mark, and of course it's time for a revamp, as these enclosures are starting to show their age, and of course the escapees are getting more and more clever. So if you'd like to get involved, please share the link, make donations where you can, help us spread the word. It's a big project we're under undertaking, but vitally necessary to make sure all the animals in our care are kept as comfortably and as safe as possible. Thank you, and thank you for your support. Med staff Emma is just feeding our injured rescue male, lovingly known as Morensky male, uh, his porridge. He does really enjoy it, but he's still in a lot of pain. So we sat up all excited for it can't get himself back up again. We do have to do it through the bars though because he does have very big teeth and now that he's uh, moving around we want to make sure nobody gets bitten. So we can do it. You got it. You got Good it. boy, come on. Yeah. Good boy. A bit lower, darling. Good boy. Emma, some porridge being stance. So just a quick report on how Marinsky's been doing. Um, he's been in here for about four days now. Uh, he has made quite some improvements since being in here. I'm sorry the lighting isn't great, but um, yeah, he's a lot more alert than he was on the first day when he arrived. He's starting to move about a lot more. He's still not using them limbs as well as we want him to, uh, but we're gonna try our best to 
get him to use them and maybe give him little massages on his thighs and feet and arms but obviously we do have to be really careful because he is a male um, and he can be aggressive at any point in time um, just got some breakfast for him which he got very excited for yeah and what I like to do is I like to just put it a little bit further away so that he makes the effort to move. So that was incredible. I'm glad I got that on camera. That was pretty damn cool, man. He loves banana. He loves papaya. Do you want to move to this side? Come on, boy. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. So you just vocalize there. And he knows it's there. He knows he wants it. It's whether he can, his brain can tell his limbs to move and to push. Hey, you want this? You gotta get it over here. So he just got to see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Marenski male doing some vocalizing um, and then Nicholas who's in the other one over there is chatting back to him So, Marenski male has now been named as Derek. Um, we're just going to get him some breakfast. We've got some porridge, papaya, cucumber, apple, and banana. Um, how are we doing, bud? How are we doing? So, he's been making... Well, he's made progress since he was in here the first day. Um, yesterday, he grabbed some food with his hand off of the blanket. Um, he's also started drinking from the Rehi bottle all by himself before we had to hand feed him. Um, and he's eating extremely well and has a big appetite. He's also a lot, lot more alert than he was when he first arrived. Uh, the bruising doesn't seem to be getting any worse and um, he is much more curious and active. Hey boy, you want some breakfast? He loves papaya still. So Derek is now eating with his right hand, which is really good. It means that he can use his hands, he knows how to use them. Um, but he does struggle to balance a little bit on his legs, so he'll only use his hands when he can balance properly. Um, but as you can see, he's sitting like a normal monkey would sit when they're eating food and using his hands to take the food up to his mouth. So yeah, that's some really great progress. He's just having some carrot. He does really like the taste of it. Oh, that was a bit big, wasn't it? <laughs> Good boy. Well, you can certainly see the improvement in Derek. He's a lot more lively and everything now. Um, he's starting to move around a lot more. He's got all the strength back into his arms. He is bending his legs, which is fantastic. So we're just waiting for those uh, final moves for him to start uh, using his, his back legs. It will take him quite a, a bit of while uh, to build the strength back up into them. But um, his chances of getting back to his troop are very very good we're still not too sure what happened to him but at least he's recovering and that's the main thing thanks everybody for watching uh, thank you for your support this is what it helps getting some of these injured guys back to where they, b they belong back home with their families and that's the important thing see you next week thank you